Good evening. Everybody's been waiting for these two to meet up. Now they do as round one is underway. As far as the fighter with the faster hand speed goes, going up against the high stamina, high endurance guy, what is the one thing he has to be very conscious of? Where he is, geography, that he's in the center of the ring where he can use that speed. Stay out of those corners. Definitely, definitely stay off the ropes. He went after it that time, but the power punch couldn't connect. Oh, and look at this, Teddy, wasting no time getting to know each other. No, they came right to the center ring, said hello. Good-looking counterpunch. He got hit, but he sends it right back. And a smart counterpunch by Fast. I guess it's already a sign of things to come. They are not wasting any time toe-to-toe -to -toe in round one. If this is an appetizer, please, please bring on the meal. Nothing there on the punch by the Beast. And you see, he turned defense into offense, comes back with the counterpunch. And that's exactly what he brings to the game. He makes you miss, he makes you pay, and he makes you think twice about throwing a punch later on. Well, we just learned something here, Teddy, in this fight. He landed a beautiful counterpunch, and if that continues tonight, this fight's gonna be in his favor. Yeah, this fight might be over, because when you land counterpunches, usually you're landing clean shots, and sooner or later, shots that your opponent doesn't see. And those are the shots that say, good night. Teddy, we hear a lot of people talking about where are the next great fighters coming from? In your eyes, I mean, you're around gyms all over the country. Oh! Oh, that uppercut got him badly. Good block there by Fast. Fast, his defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. There it is! What a shot! Big hook comes in. Wow, is he defensively sound. Holy cow! He gets to him with an uppercut. Oh, man, he's in rough shape after absorbing that blow. Very clean offense from defense by Fast. Gets rid of that body shot. We come to the end of this round. Teddy, a round in which maybe a lot of trainers don't like to see because it was a very busy round for both guys. Well, it depends what kind of style, what kind of strength your fighter has, or even what kind of weaknesses. If I had a guy who likes to box, who likes to counter punch, I want a guy coming at him. Not with a lot of TNT in his gloves, but coming forward where my guy is well suited, he can pick him off a little bit. Throws a counter punch there. Undoubtedly, the most effective element of his... Oh, that's gotta hurt! The Beast is in a bad spot right now. He's been stunned. Well-placed counter punch by Fast. Well done that time, landing the counter punch. He has taken a lot of... Oh! Fast's in a bad place right now. He was tagged. Not getting it done with that straight right hand. Some fine fundamentals, good counter punch. Nice mousetrap day, let him in beautifully. He didn't use cheese, he used distance. He was on wobbly legs not long ago. Now he's got his feet back under him. What is that, a chin or is that Mount Rushmore? That's a tried and true method that works out very well. The counter punch landing by the Beast. He 
he's a weeble wobble in the ring right now, just wobbling away. Teddy, he's wobbling all over the ring. You know, Joe, he can't use his legs right now, so he wins. Oh, keep it clean now. And the ref's not going to tolerate. Holy cow! He was standing up to it, but now he goes down for the One, first time. Two, three. So he is able to get up to his feet after that knockdown. But Teddy, it's what's ahead that's the problem. Yeah, we're getting a peek right now into his heart, into his soul. Thought he had his target, but way off to the side with the uppercut. Oh, and there you go. Oh, veteran move, counter shot to the head. Wow, the beast is on the canvas and hurt. from a big shot. Now he's got to have some big guts to move along. You're going to find out exactly what he's made of. So swiftly able to turn defense into offense. Nice counter punch. And what you're noticing here is his opponent is starting to be a little wary of letting his jab go because every time he jabs, he gets caught. Took a shot. Now he gives a left. Round comes to an end. Knockdown was scored in that round. So, Teddy, you're working the corner of the guy who was just on the floor. What are you telling him? You're telling him that if he's been down before, you want to actually use that for a positive. I know that sounds crazy, but you say, hey, you've been here before. You've overcome it. You want to remind him that he can get back. And then the most important thing, Joe, is you tell him why he got dropped. So when he goes out there, He's not just scared going into a dark place saying, gee, it's going to happen again. He knows he has control. Blocks it away. That shot. This is going to take some guts to get up from this. Once again, he goes down. up after that punch put him down on the canvas now he needs to get on that bicycle and stay away from this guy gets rid of that body shot and he returns on that exchange Defensive skill with the block by the beast from the east. Thought he had his target, but way off to the side with the uppercut. Nice block by fast. The beast's got a cut, and it looks like it's below the eye on the cheek, but it's something that needs to be monitored. That's a good block by Fast. Holy cow! Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Good block there by the Beast from the East. One minute to go in a round that feels like an all-time classic. Punch for punch, they're meeting each other. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. The Beast's cut is right near his eye. That's the last place his corner is going to want to see any damage. He missed with that headshot. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Oh, he comes right back with a big one of his own. to dismiss his opponent's shot and then comes back with an uppercut. 
End of that round, and the knockdown was scored. Now, Teddy, the fighter who was floored, how do you treat him? Do you, go, do you go soft on him when he comes back, or do you get right in his face? What's the way to approach it? You have to know your fighter. You have to know the temperament of your fighter. Some guys, you know, they just kind of crawl up into a ball, and they don't come out of it if you get too strong with them. Other guys, they react well to that. So you got to know what he reacts to, first of all. And the most important thing, you have to get information. Why did he get dropped? You had your right hand down, you got hit the hook. Get your right hand up. You'll be okay. Oh! The Beast is in bad shape. Well, his opponent doesn't like that, but that's exactly what he was trying to do. Just create some space there. He goes down. He has so much time now, he's going to be forced to survive. Stopping this fight. fight is done. 